What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about five or more ways about how to get over a plateau. Um, for fitness, I have about five years of experience. I'm a certified personal trainer and I also have done about two years of competing. I'm nationally qualified in men's physique going after my pro card guys. So I'm gonna be here to help you guys on the ways I've uh, found to get over a plateau. And we're gonna straight into the video guys, let's get it. All right guys, so starting off from the first one, I would say writing down all your lists and keeping your progress, like blogging it in a journal or something. Uh, like bring a journal to whenever you guys are working out and when you guys do a set, write down what weight, how many reps you guys did. Um, that also keep progress and like say you come back in about two to three weeks and you see that you can do heavier, that's getting progress. You're doing better, you're getting over that peak, the strength. It's really overall just a good way to keep track of your progress and making sure you guys are progressing, not staying stuck or stagnant at a certain um, weight or workout. So that's one way to get over a plateau for me is keeping track of your progress, writing it down, logging it, making sure you guys can go back and see you guys are making any progress. If you guys are not with that, you guys can adjust your, your intensity, how much weight you guys are doing. Um, really, um, when you guys are training, you guys make sure we're eating, eating right. That's another reason I'll get into it in a second. So, um, vlogging, great way to keep track and getting over a plateau, guys. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, so this is going to be the diet portion of the plateau video. Um, so, for me, this is the hardest part for me. Um, come, like, dieting down to diet for my competitions that I do for 12 to 16 weeks. Um, that's hard on me, and I think it's hard for everybody, guys. You know what happens at nighttime. You just want to go to the pantry, get all this food, and you can't, you can't do it but you want to so bad. Okay, a little embarrassing thing to tell you guys about me and when I was in prep. That oh, was nasty, okay. So in prep, when I'm dieting down for so long and I can't have all this sweet food, I have to, I don't have to, but it's my decision. I'll go into the pantry, I'll get some good tasting, like a chip or something, I'll put it in my mouth, and I'll chew it and get the flavor, and I'll spit it out. It's nasty, it's what I do sometimes, but I'm not saying you should do that, just, uh, no. Um, so, <laughs> Um, dieting wise, getting over the plateau part is you guys want to make sure you're getting the right amounts of food in you. I go for around five to six meals. I go both ways for dieting down to get shredded or building muscle. Um, you just always want to make sure you're getting the right amount of calories and protein, fats, and carbs inside of you. Um, just to fuel your body, build muscle, and make sure you keep on the muscle so when you guys are dieting down or building muscle to get stronger or get bigger for whatever you guys want. Um, so that's the dieting portion of this. Um, let's move on to the next one. All right guys, so we're gonna move on to the coaching part of this video for the getting over a plateau. So getting a coach is going to help you guys a lot. Getting a coach will also help you guys get over that plateau as well, that's what this video is for. Um, for me, whenever I moved back from college, um, I found Zach Blakeney, which is my coach, and coach is still now today, he's been my coach for almost two years now. Um, I've been training bodybuilding style training for about two years, training wise for about three in general, so like five in total. Um, so when I, before I was with Zach, I was very small, didn't really know how to get past this plateau, I didn't know where to grow, I was just working out steadily, not really growing, just keeping where I was at, I was, I was, I was stable, I was not improving. Um, I found Zach, and that's just my coach, and he got me over that hump, got me over my plateau, and now I'm growing, I'm nationally qualified. He, they'll, they'll look at your strengths and your weaknesses, they're gonna improve every single muscle group that you, they see that is a weakness, and they're just gonna train you and kill you in the gym, and make you get that past that plateau, guys. So I really highly recommend getting a coach, they're gonna help you a lot, guys. Not with just with workout plans, but with diet as well, if you have the right one. Um, Zach does my diet and my workout plans and trains me, and does training sessions with me. So that's gonna be the training with a coach part section of this video. Um, so we on to the next. All right, so another tip for getting over a plateau is training with bigger people. Um, I've been very lucky to surround myself with people that have positive, like-minded goals, and they help me just basically grow. If I train with them, just surround yourself with them, guys. They'll make you want to get bigger. Um, I have a friend, Brandon, who does legs, and he's just a massive 20-year-old kid who's like, he's 250 pounds of straight, straight beef. It's freaking, it's insane. Um, I feel, he's in my other videos if you guys want to go watch them. Um, so that's helped me a lot whenever I don't feel like I can get over like a weight for legs or in general that I know he's stronger at. I'll go over to him, train with him, do his weight or he'll push me to go past my limits. Um, so that's a very good way to get past a plateau as well. So let's move on to the next session. 
All right guys, so another tip for getting over a plateau is changing out your workout plan slash routine. If you guys are training with the same routine every single day or every single week, um, it can get boring, it can get very, not very exhausting anymore. It's, it's harder to build, it feels like you're not really getting sore, you don't feel like you're getting any progress out of it. Um, so changing your workout plan is a very good way to get over a plateau. Just make it more fun, exciting to get into the gym saying, Oh, I'm coming here to do a new chest workout that I've never done today. That's something I look forward to. New workouts, it just it helps me in general. Um, so that is a very good way to get over a plateau for me, I think. So the main point of this video is trying to get you guys to get out and try new things, try new workouts, try new diet plans. Uh, make sure you guys are getting the right amounts of food. Training with the coach if you guys want to try that. That's new as well. That's helped me a lot in my bodybuilding career. Um, training with bigger people, motivating yourself to come in here, get bigger every single day, and just improve in life in general. Um, so that is about five tips that I have for you guys to get over a plateau. Hope you guys really enjoyed that video. If you guys have not smacked the subscribe button all the way. <laughs> Hey everybody! Hey, what's up guys? If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button on your way out, make sure to do that. Um, lots of content coming soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time guys, keep getting it. I yeah. have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna